Hey everybody, this is Chris from Console Customs. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your Xbox 360 controller shell with one of our custom controller shells. You can see in front of us here we've got our donor controller, an older white controller. And uh, we're going to use a, one of our purple shells. So we've got our shell here and uh, all of our parts over there. The first thing we need to do is get our old controller open. To do that, we need a Torx T8 security screwdriver. Now this security screwdriver has a hole in the tip of it. You probably can't see it here in the video, but uh, it's a special screwdriver because there's a little pin in the middle of each screw on here. Now we have six screws along the outside of the controller, and there's one behind this white label in the battery compartment area. So we can just kind of poke through that battery label if you don't feel like taking it off and get that screw out and then we'll take out the rest of these alright so now we've got all of our screws out of the way we can just lift the back cover of the controller shell off we'll just set that off to the side and we will pull out the circuit board that easy now in our replacement shell we need to reuse these rubber pads from from our original controller so we're going to pull those off and set them off to the side everything else uh, we don't need to reuse so we can just set that off to the side the first thing that we're going to do is replace our triggers it's probably the most difficult part of the installation so we'll get to it first the triggers have a little a little arm on them a little post that goes into an arm which we need to get out so the easiest way to do that is to pull the trigger one direction in this case towards me and that little arm will push it away and just pop it off that arm then we've got two little clip type things on either side of this that are holding that trigger in place also so we just need to kind of pry those out to the side and pop the trigger out now we can take this spring out you don't want to lose that we need to reuse that part and the trigger just slides off so we'll do that to the other side here And I just lost a spring. So we'll get that back. All right, now we can put our new triggers on there. So we'll just uh, line the triggers up just like we took them off to put them back on. And we can take one of the springs. I find the easiest way is just to stick it in the top half there, or actually the trigger half. And then it's got to fit right down onto that little plus. So when we put it together, it just kind of falls right into place how it should. And a little bit reverse of what we did before. Take a screwdriver and stick it in that arm. We'll push our trigger one direction and pull that arm. Now it's all together. Get the other one here. Our spring in there. Snap it into place. And we're done. Now one thing with these, if you if you feel that trigger is a little rough, if it's not wanting to, to push down real smooth, uh, this one is, but uh, in the case that yours isn't, one thing you can do is just trim this, this little piece down. So you could use a pair of side cutters or some sandpaper, just, just make it a little shorter. 
because what will happen sometimes is that rubs inside this arm so and we're done with that part so now we can kind of take and put all of our pieces into our shell so if we take our, our top half of our shell we can just start putting our buttons in there Now this shell comes with a guide button and the clear ring that goes around the guide button. You can reuse your own, grab the one out of this one, the old one if you like that, the original Xbox guide button versus the one that comes with the shell, you can reuse that. And this ring too. This ring, uh, as you can see this one has some, some black pieces in there which actually separates the light a little bit better than the aftermarket one. So if you want to reuse that you can too. We'll just we'll use the ones that come with it for now. And we can throw our pad back over top of those. Next we can take our D-pad. So the D-pad's two pieces, you have a front and a back. We need to screw that together, so we'll put the the front half of the D-pad in there and get the back lined up like that and we'll take two of the screws that come with the new shell and we'll screw that in there now these are Phillips head screws so you need a regular Phillips head screwdriver to put these back in Okay, it's done. We can take the the mic surround piece there, and that just kind of clips into place. Just a couple of little guides. Real simple. Now another little bit more difficult part is the sync button. You can see we've got a really small sync button here and that's got to go in this piece so there's a little post in there and a little hole on the sync button that fits right down around that now this doesn't really snap into place so it's best if we either use a little dab of hot glue or super glue on that on that post in inside there uh, another thing you can do, which we like to do a little bit more permanent fix, is just to uh, melt that a little bit. So one easy way we can do that is take like a paper clip and a lighter. Just heat that for a few seconds. And just uh, touch it to that post in there to melt it a little bit. So bring that up there if we can. So now it's melted. Now our, our sync button's not gonna not gonna pop out. So we take that uh, with our bumpers. Put them together and we can stick that in the top part of our shell. Oh, we also need to take our little rubber pad for our D-pad, put that back on also. Now, most of our shells come with matching thumbsticks now. There's a few that still don't, but uh, just take a look at the item description so you can know if yours comes with those or not, but uh, this one does. So we're going to replace those thumbsticks. They just slide off and back on. once they're lined up right.
right, so now we're almost done. Really all we need to do is take our circuit board, flip it back over, stick it in the shell. Stick our rumble motors back in their little holders. Put the back cover on. I have new screws, again Phillips head screws, to uh, put the shell back together. You don't want to use the original ones, they're actually too big and it can crack the shell if you use the original ones. So use the screws that come with the shell. We'll just put one of them in here real quick so we can take a look at the controller. And there we go. We also separately sell these buttons in different colors, purple, red, blue, green, orange. So you can get those to, uh, to match a team color or something else. Battery cover and we're all done. We have about uh, 15 colors of Xbox 360 controller shells including chrome colors, transparent colors, solid colors like this one. So come on and check us out. Thanks.